Okay guys, welcome back. First of all, before we start, I would like to apologize for not being able to drop any content lately. I just have been busy with so many other things and I've got so many other projects that I'm working with. I just didn't have the time to drop any content. Secondly, I would like to apologize again if you hear me cough throughout this video. I've got a small little irritation in my throat, so sometimes from time to time it is possible that i'll cough okay so i apologize for that all right so today we are going to do this uh, sheet metal this part that you see here all right i am not going to look into k factors um k factors there are a lot of um variants that go into k factors that i will not touch uh, today on all right I want to keep this uh, this this video basic right and try and make it as short as possible and maybe later on i will get into k factors right but but for right now i'm not going to look at k factors all right so let's get into this let's start our first part and i want to call this sheet metal exercise one all right there you go all right so let's start off with our sketch all right, to do our sketch i'm going to use double lines there we go let's close this off Okay, let's add some constraints and dimensions. thickness of the sheet metal will be 10. They're going to be 120. Okay. Let's finish off with auto constraints to make it fast. There we go. I'm going to change the color to gray. And I want to extrude this by 350. Okay. We're going to do the fillets, the inner fillets and these edges over here 10 millimeters radius all right and these corners are also 10 there we go and here we go that's 10 Now we're going to do the side cutouts, those round side cutouts. Again, sketch. Let's draw a line down the middle here. Make it a construction line. Let's do a line there. Make this a construction line as well. Right, and 
this is going to be. It's going to be 20. And 45. Then 55. Ninety-five. There we go. And then one oh five. And then finally one forty. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's offset by five. Let's offset this also by five. And just erase these construction lines. And just get this out the way. Now I want to use power trim. There we go to re remove everything else. And then one touch trim. Fillets here, these edges, these ones are going to be five. Now I am going to copy okay, from this point. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. That's the center. And I'm going to make another three copies of this. There we go. To finish off, auto constraint. And this will take a few seconds. Now we can get out and we can extrude okay. this sketch. I'm going to extrude it to this face. On this side, I'm going to extrude it to the other face on this side. And I'm going to choose remove. All right, I want to remove this. And there we go. All right, we are almost done. All right, now what do we need? We need to do. All right, now we're going to go to sheet metal. I'm going to use lower here. I'm going to choose this face inside. And then it's going to ask me for a plane to do my sketch. And I want to choose the same plane. Okay. So I want to draw a line like that right so before i do the rest i just want to test something out here and then i will do the rest i'll come back and finish the rest so let's just add some dimensions here this is going to be 22 and this is going to be 43 This is going to be 35. There we go. All right, so let's get out. All right. It's more or less this, but not exactly this. Oh, this is going to be a little bit rounder here. So I want to change the dimensions here. This is going to be 6. This is going to be 90. This is going to be... 0.18 let's see if it works this way and I'll put this take into consideration the thickness 4.3 and 6 all right yeah that's what I want more or less just just want it round there we go and okay all right let's make sure everything is okay hmm it leaves this bit over here open and I don't want to 
to leave that a little bit open. Let's just mess around here with the dimensions a bit. Don't allow me why. So we can do this. There we go. There we go. Go solve the problem. We know what's happening. Okay. All right. So it's basically this what I need. Okay. But now we have to make several along this face over here. So we're going to go back. Actually, this is not the one we're going to use. We're going to use this sketch. So let's get into this sketch and we're going to offset by 20, flip in the opposite direction and I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think it's 8, 1, 2, 6, 8, exactly 8, there you go. Now I'm going to need another six going down. There we go. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now let's add some dimensions here. This and this. I'm going to be 70, 76. Now this and this is going to be 130. Now this to there is going to be 184. Finally, this one to that one is going to be 292. Okay, here we go. That about does it. So we can get out now. All right. We just have to wait a few, a few seconds. And here we have it. All right. We have our command done. All right, on this side. Okay, so our part is done. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not going to go into K factors. However, I am going to show you how you uh, unfold um, this this part. Okay. All right. So first of all, I don't think you can unfold it. Let me just try unfold without any markers let me see if it goes okay it doesn't go all right doesn't matter so normally what you do is you go over here to mark bend click it well i can select one by one if i want or i can just choose exactly where all the corners i want to select but first let's choose the face that's going to be stationary i want to choose this face okay all right, and then I want to mark all bends because it shows four. 
and then here you put in the k factors again depends on the material depends on the machine you're going to use depends on lots of things all right so like i said i'm not going to look into the k factor right now but i'm going to show you how you unfold this part so click ok all right now you can go to unfold click the part you want and there you have it and this is how it looks unfold unfolded all right so you can fold it back up again click on fold select it all right and that's the part okay that's our video for today i hope you liked it and until next time thanks